What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, with the video here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock. Um, this should be the finale of Galar, which is absolutely insane to think about. Um, but I do have one quick little note. This might be a jumbly episode, and I apologize. I know most finales I like smooth and not rigidity. Um, but the game literally goes hi. Um, fight Chairman Rose, his ace is 57. Hi, face this Eternatus that's level 60. Hi, I am Leon, I'm level 65. Back to back to back. Like, what the, what the, like, what? Why? That's, it just, it seems so dumb to me to have this. Like, oh, look at that level disparity. Like, because if I go in, like, my levels right now are in the 60s roundabouts. Like, Yeah, 59, 59, 59, 60, 60, and then Fruition's just 57. Fruition is just not getting any action, and is legendary, so <laughs> that's kind of being doubly compounded at the moment. But still, like, I'm going to have to train for Leon, because there's no way in the world... Shinies don't appear in the overworld like that, do they? No, okay, good. It's just the, the, the textures. Okay. I was going to say, I'm like, excuse me? I mean, I'll take it. Oh, uh, they're level three. I was thinking about getting my encounter in this slumbering, uh, some, slumbering, slumbering, wow, slumbering wield, but uh, I'm deciding not to. They're level three. I don't think that there's going to be a purpose, and taking up any more time than necessary just kind of seems ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Uh, unless I'm going to run into look every encounter anyway, but... Yeah, so that is kind of the plan, the thought process, is there will be, like, a weird, awkward cut where I have to level up to level 60 freaking 5, and that's if I'm being, like, on the risky side, because that's, Leon's Dynamax is 65, so. Oh, this would be my encounter. <laughs> oh, I almost want to catch it just for the meme. But no, I'm not going to waste our time, there's no reason to. I mean, uh, I s we don't have level balls or anything. Yeah, there's no reason to. I'll just I'll chuck one Pokeball at it for the fun of it and then run. If this catches because it's in the dark, then cool. If not, then cool. it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to spend my time on this thing. Even though it is funny that our final encounter is a Wailord, because of course it would be a speed boosting <laughs> Wailord. <laughs> Uh, no. I'm not gonna use it. I got whale about anywhere. Well, that's funny. Okay. You know, I have a bike. I should probably be using that. Just because it's a lot faster. Of a method. Silicobra, get out of my way. But yeah, no, honestly, like I said, I don't, why, why do you think they would do that is a good question to me. Like, I feel like, oh, here's where we could have gotten a, a better leveled encounter. Hello. If they were that level, I would have. There's, wow. The fact that that's a, that great of a level disparity is kind of ridiculous. Misty Seeds. Cool. I forgot what that does. I think that's something to do with uh, the elect. Nope. The fairy terrain, whatever that's called. Also, that tongue do be that fire, though. Fire tongue. <laughs> Go. Fire tongue. What the heck? Okay. Still gotta run, guys. I can't just date you guys. Oh, wait. Can I get this item? I should be able to. Oh, huh, that was very worth it. I'm glad I did. Yuxi, Mudbray. I like you both, but you're not part of the plan. Sylveon I like too, but again, not part of the plan. Okay, this bike is not helping. I'm running into things. <laughs> I'm like, am I, is it actually faster? Um, because it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> I hurt my I slept on my wrist wrong today, and Dude, it's kicking my butt. I'm definitely gonna take some like IV profan probably after work. Or not after work, before work. Even though I don't really want to, it's best to do a smoke ball. Let's be run away without fail. 
Oh, I gotta be careful of those. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Hi, Hop. How are you, buddy? What is even with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Hi, hi, hi. You know, there's only one thing that would be better than what just happened. And, um, that would, no, there's multiple things that would be better. But, you know, if something were to come out of the fog, y'all know what I would appreciate. Loud greed. They really are here. The sword and shield Pokemon. I knew it. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you even doing? What's come of it? Sonia, you must have seen that, right? Those, those short sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. They disappeared into the forest. Hop, I'm sure you haven't lost the plot, but there's no one here but the two of you. What? Then what, were those illusions just something? Listen, I dug up some literature from other regions, and I finally found something. It mentions the Pokemon sword, the sword Pokemon Zacian, and the shield Pokemon Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere in Slumbering Weald, a long time ago. Did they really? Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it was illusion or whatever, we didn't manage to find the Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield Pokemon that those two used to carry are still here too. The sword and the shield that those two Pokemon used to carry are still here, probably. I don't know, Hop. You are a silly little ego, that's all I know. <gasps> wow! Honestly, this is a very pretty area, though. I will give the creators that, like... It's beautiful. Oh, although, how is that pillar standing? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Architecturally, I don't think that building would still be there, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. See that? The sword and the shield, the legends were true. Give me that shield. Oh. But I want the shield. No. You have obtained a rusted sword. Said that the hero used the sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow. Would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall into pieces if you so very much look at it. It's funny. I don't know about these rusty old things, but... Will they really be able to start up the darkest day? Well, I guess I can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves are really still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all we've got. Yup. Let's go. Go <laughs> Hammerlock, I believe, is what we can do now. Yep. There's our flag. Checkpoint flag. Can't call a flying taxi where you are now. <sighs> Fine. Let's just fast transport. Please hop. Oh my gosh, really? Hop. Hold on. Hop. Let me... Let me... Oh, you're gone. No, you're not. Can you fast... Tra can you fast transport me? I don't know if you can or not. So, I can't fly... I, I can't get a flying taxi. But Hop can? I see how this is. This is, like... Supplementary character treatment. Well, if it isn't John and Hop, oh my gosh, it's a real shame that things have turned out the way it is. But you make it, you making it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this had to happen? And Chairman Rose is thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be a key to saving Galar's future? This all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all what he's supposed to work. But I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day and the Chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead to help my brother. And he's gone. Hop never changes. He's always in a rush to something, isn't he? The key is that no one is harmed so far. 
with we gym leaders work together with the city Pokemon, and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everybody in the Galar region. Of course I am. Our greatest champion ever, our greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up in the darkest day. I feel about almost sorry for him. Go on, go into Hammerlock Stadium with you, or I'm gonna go into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Yes, please. I need you. I need you for emotional support. Jim, Challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason, and it's and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamaxed and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there, right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg for your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, its energy emitted from its body is what's causing all this Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. And if that were to happen, please, you must save Chairman Rose. You cannot take the lift over. You, you can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion and yo champion's younger brother too. But who knows what's going on? You killed Ye and expect me to help you? Fine, because I'm a good person. But hey, maybe you can figure out a way to revive Ye legally. That's what I'll task you to do. If you if you revive Ye legally, then and I help, then it's a perfect trade. Because something's gonna die in this fight, I'm sure. <laughs> And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought the darkest day, or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something, something so terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Galar region with limitless, limitless energy to ensure the everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, and my destiny. That is why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hammerlock, and that was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I cannot let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Another good music moment. Honestly, Gen 8 music, though. You, that, If there's anything in Gen 8 that you cannot, like, give crap to, it's the music. Direction. We're leading with a... Why, you you should have kept that unevolved, my dude. It had guerrilla tactics. Thank you for evolving it and making my life so much easier. I do appreciate you. Because, um, yeah, I would not be able to deal with guerrilla tactics. But with this, I can deal with decently. Because I'm going to just facetious rend it. Um, that seems like the play. I'm going to go with it. That's going to do... That's that's That doesn't touch me. I'm fine with that. Do that. Keep it up. This does about half. Oh my gosh, that does a lot more than half. Okay. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Uh Yes, I'm glad that you think so. You're gonna heal though, probably. No, you're gonna just waste. Okay, you know what? I'm glad I didn't waste a facetious run. If I get the Omni Boost here, Whale About has sweet potential. Ten percent chance of sweet potential? No, we're not gonna get it. Okay, I mean, <laughs> it was worth the shot. If he was gonna heal, it was okay. Cress. Ooh, that's fine. Who do I send out, though? Uh, is there a way to check summary? Literally, check summary. Duh. Uh, 185 versus 173. 177 to 164. Okay, fruition's a better choice. 
I thought so, but I wanted to double check. Because the Giratina is more of a, a defensive threat and a defensive presence, and I need something that's strong to attack this thing. Uh, you're more specially bulky, so we'll Spectral Thief. It's not going to kill. It's going to do about half. Come. That did a little more than I thought. Thank you for calm minding in front of a Spectral Thief Pokemon. I appreciate you, Chairman Rose. Thanks for ending yourself. Thanks, buddy. Let me just, you know, maybe you have a Quick Claw and you can Quick Claw Calm Mind. That would be even better. I mean, that would be great if you want to do that. I wouldn't say no. I think this is this is why Bead's doing what Bead things. Because Bead learned from you and you are doing the same thing that Bead was doing. Having good things and just doing nothing with it. That sounds about right. Crest fainted. We're getting buffeted by the sandstorm, but that doesn't matter. We're plus one, plus one. Sandstorm chip. We we healed the sand st sandstorm chip, but we know that fifteen will, will die from sandstorm. Tap Buffini. I'm gonna stay in. I'm plus one, plus one. I think. Um. Uh, it's the. Oh. Ooh. Important information. 90 plus stab is 120. Versus 140. So voltage is better. No, it's not. Oh, no, it is. 135 still. 135 with stab versus 140. Sandstorm's gone. I'll take that. We're plus two speed, minus one defense. Plus one attack and special defense. Or special attack and special defense. This is a prime opportunity. The fact that he sent out so many legends, though. Mammoth Swine and two legends to start this fight. It's a little bit on the chaotic side, but it is what it is. Shuckle. I'm going to switch out on that. And I think we go Katie. Yeah, I'm going to go Katie, girl. I think we're gonna either we're gonna stone edge it because that's super effective, and it it'll probably we're faster actually because Chuckle's slow. Although Dynamax Chuckle would have been funny, I would have laughed a lot if it was a Dynamax Chuckle, but it's not. So Bug Bite, that's fine. That's like five damage, ten. That's a shock. Oh, I guess it's not resisted. That's why. Okay. I forget it's not resisted. Okay, do we transform typing now? Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. No, I'm not going to transform typing yet. Rock type is not a bad offensive typing. I was thinking about fire, for those that want to know. Heracross. I should have gone fire. Um, hmm. If I would have gone fire, that would have been perfect. But I did not. Okay. That... That I don't see as a problem. We have Heat Wave that should Oko. Honestly, half of me wants to. S oh, it doesn't Oko. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I definitely can't go into the fight uh, with Leon under leveled then. If that didn't Oko. Because, I mean, this is coming from a Garatina. It's not like it's coming from something little.
Golurk is the... Hmm. Actually... This is a good Nolan thing. Because it's Dark and Ghost. I'm going to hit it with a Dark Super Effective Attack six different times with a chance to flinch. Oh, oh, down to my last Pokemon. This isn't looking too good. I'm going to beat up. I think that's still the smarter play, even though he's going to Dynamax. I don't think you can flinch Dynamaxes, though, is the problem. I guess we'll find out that information, unless we Oko it, which I don't think we would, because honestly, like, come on. Also, oh boy, the music. Yeah. Of course. Why would you not? Dude, I still want a foul play because that's what that's there for, but I can't risk that. Uh, but I can't risk anything, though. It having Max Knuckle was huge. I guess we go... No, I can't even touch it with Machamp. I guess I gotta go with Whaleabout. I don't like this Max Knuckle thing. Like, the question becomes, what the heck fighting move does this thing have? It's obviously a damaging fighting move. Okay, let's do a check, a speed check. 142 versus... 118. Mm. I'm going to say, uh, most likely fruition is going to be faster than this thing. If it goes for the fighting move, then we're fine. If it goes for ghost move, then by fruition, which is our lowest level Pokemon, and it can't go into the next generation anyways. <sighs> wow, that did nothing. Okay. That was a crit. It had to have been a special move then. Because there's no way that that was not a special move. If it crit... Attack rose sharply. Special defense rose. I'd forgotten how great it was, how great Pokemon battles are. It has been so long since the battle. That was truly satisfying. Here's 11k for no reason. Most impressive. I wouldn't expect anything less for a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry that I've ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we can't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. 
Indeed. Just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue the princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know, but I love to make speeches. But I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? Certainly hope losing didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go and see how your champion's doing. Discouraged? You don't get a chairman. Neither me or my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you have organized. Bye now. Uh, we don't get healed, though. So we have to heal ourselves. I would assume, because the, there is no, like, oh, by the way, you're healed. No, yeah. And you know what? Even though the game could be like, oh, yeah, here, here, happy healed. I'm not going to trust it. Also, we haven't touched our floor store supply, so that's cool. If you're looking at any positives, the fact that we haven't touched that supply is grand. Um, but yeah, I can't fight Leon, though. That's the that's the issue, is I have no way of... I mean, I could... F f oh, um, actually, I had devised uh, a plan and a strategy for this ever since we got to this point. Nolan, get up here. <laughs> you, you, were, you were kind of the strategy to this. Oh, no. Eternatus. Oh, Chairman Rose. It's okay. They said top of the tower. Did they mean this area? Part of me thinks that they didn't, and I'm messing up right now. Crap. I don't think this is what they meant. Okay, I was like, didn't I see a Pokeball thing? It's a TM for Charm, which doesn't help us, but it's something. Uh, what does it say? Like, if we go to the town map. Head to the roof of Hammerlock Stadium. Do we not do that? Or do we have to talk to Hop? Like, what's been happening recently? Talk to Hop. Hop will tell you exactly where to go and how to do things. And Alright, John. I'm ready. Anything. Are you? Of course. Wouldn't expect anything else. We gotta, yep, we gotta just talk to, mm, it's so triggering. It's like, oh yeah, you gotta talk to Hop. Hop, Hop is the key. <laughs> Hop is the key to everything right now. It's like, no, why? We're on par for this, though. You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Hop. And you, John. You two have really grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. Seems like some power of Eternatus is with keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we have a champion. We've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members were are really worn, have really worn Eternatus down, and now I can simply catch it in a Pokeball. We should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. Why are you trying to use a Pokeball, my dude? Man's literally trying to catch po uh, Eternatus in a Pokeball. Okay, that was your own fault. You tried to Pokeball, my dude.
Eternatus has appeared. Okay, my plan... Uh, that's fine. We're... My plan was... I <laughs> hope it doesn't have anything to attack Nolan and just beat it up. Or foul play if it wants to buff. But I also have Earthquake on this thing, just in case. Which I'm actually going to click Earthquake and see what it does. Dynamax Cannon. Doesn't affect me. We're fine. Although that, that moveset's pretty good so far. That fl Jeez. Okay, this is going to be a tough next fight then. If it's got Flamethrower, Dynamax Cannon, and others. Yeah, Cross Poison, Dynamax Cannon, and Flamethrower is already a nasty moveset. Especially Max, max Ooze. That, this is going to be great. But yeah, okay. So part one of the plan is solidified. Now for phase two. Eternatus has appeared. Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, John. Dude, my man Hop has a Rayquaza. Excuse Why? Okay, we're going to beat it up. It's storing his energy. Nolan can't use powers. What? I can't use any moves. It's fine. I forgot! We found the sword of the shield in the slumbering wield! John, use that sword! It might be the old and rusted, well, old and rusted, but there's some use to it. Now we got more more good music. Jeez. This is like the champion fight <laughs> of this game. Okay. Watch Zashi and Zamazet to have absolutely garbage moves. I have a feeling that's exactly what's about to happen. If only I could find out what their abilities were. Info card. Oh, I can. 
not. Oh, it's got pixelate. I can. Okay. Zashin has pixelate. A Zeta coming in clutch. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, Zamazenta is powering up what exactly? What's... It's powering up the Zacian in Rayquaza. Nice. Okay. It's not powering up me, but that's fine. I don't mind that, necessarily speaking. Uh, Zamazenta. Oh, you upped my attack. And Rayquaza's. Oh, that, that helps everybody. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're going to play support, which I don't necessarily mind. Okay, that's one thing we knew about. Again, the three... I, I can't get touched. My strategy worked. But I can't really touch this thing. I was really relying on the other two. And neither of them chunked his damage at all. Looks like it's we can choose our moves thanks to Zacian and Zamazenta, that is. Rayquaza used acrobatics and did a chunk. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna earthquake. No, I can't, because that hurts everybody. So I can't earthquake at this at this moment in time. I'm just kinda stuck. Behemoth Blade. Nice. Nice. Behemoth Bash. Okay, this must be scripted. I wonder if it is. <clears throat> it's possible. Uh oh, 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 shoot, 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 Um... I didn't realize he could nullify abilities. Uh, 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 oh. I was not aware that he could do that. Hmm. Do I even want to switch at this point? Uh, I think I have to. Because, I mean, look, he nullified my ability, right? So, best case scenario would probably be what? Uh. You know what? I think it's a champ and play protect. Play the protect game. Nullified stat changes and abilities. I'm glad I swapped. He attacked right into me. I had a weird feeling he was going to. Because I was the biggest threat. I, I mean, let's be honest. I was. I was the biggest problem. I, he, couldn't, he could not attack me unless he nullified my ability. So I was the one that was most... Hurry, catch it. I have to... I think this is what you can you can waste a Pokeball and it'll work, but
<laughs> me kind of wishing that this was kind of the end of the game. I would have been okay with their champion fight. <laughs> like, this would have been fine. It's it already kind of acted like it's over. Now the champion fight's just the essential thing. Three days later. Chairman Rose turned himself in. Never thought I'd see the day. He will return this nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you, you sow, I say. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. Wait, we really did defeat, defeat Eternus together with Zashi and Zamazenta. I would say that they really defeated Eternus. We just got the stuff to do that. I do understand how it feels, though. It feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you face him off in a serious match. So come on, the match will be in Winter Stadium. Where else? Yeah, but the man's level 62 and 60, 62 to 65. And uh, yeah, we have to actually train... Which is dumb that his levels are super ridiculous. I'm act that actually it's so upsetting. Oh, it's almost really upsetting because like I want to get into this fight, right? And technically that's what I have to do, but now I have to edit because I have to train up, <laughs> which is dumb. But anyway, uh, I don't know what the I think I'm gonna train to 65. I'll let I'll let whatever's Dynamax cause issues because that's what they're for. It's a champion fight, but or I 64, excuse me. Um, that way his, his Dynamax can still cause issues, but that's still four levels across the board, plus seven for, or six for fruition, so, yeah, that's still kind of ridiculously underleveled, but yeah, so, we'll see you guys, uh, in a minute, when my team is all trained up. Well, I got this team retrained up, let's get this show on the road, what's going on? Um, obviously, I'm not gonna do a proper intro, because it's not an intro. Let's go ahead and go through the team. Um, because honestly, this could be crazy, this could be easy, this could be hard, this could be whatever. But, we got everybody to level 64 across the board. We have Nolan, same ability, same everything. We got Katie, same everything. We have Daddy, same everything. We have Fruition, same everything. We have Whaleabout, same everything. We have <laughs> Satan, same everything. And we have that yeah everybody's got the same move sets it's just their levels higher um so yeah what a great little team recap everybody's super thrilled and excited to have me as part of the team um but yeah so honestly i'm not ready for leon i don't really know what leon can necessarily throw at me and i don't really genuinely think that he can throw anything too terrible out at me i mean what's the worst thing that he could throw at me. Marshadow? Marshadow's still probably the worst thing that he could throw at me. Um, especially because that fighting typing on top of the ghost is the problem. Um, and we don't have any flyers or anything, so that, yeah, that would be the worst case scenario. Which means it's definitely gonna happen now, so, yeah. Also, do any of you guys just sell things or no? No, they don't. Challengers. Yes, I want them. Can I not buy them because I'm on a bike? No, I can't. Okay, it's just concessions. Hey, it's John, the final showdown. This is going to be so exciting. Oh, my gosh. I I kept my my potions the way that they were. Because in my, in my thought process, I was like, 60 is going to be more than enough. In most cases, it is. So... The whole world waiting on this match. You've got to beat Leon. You just have to. This is the final match against the champion. The champion match. Are you ready to face Leon? I don't want to say I'm ready to beat him. I'm ready to face him. Then change it to your uniform and head out of the pitch. <sighs> beat him. Don't give up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, his ace is 65, his Dynamax is 65, so my hope is that, like I said, we can get to 65 kind of close to across the board by the time he sends out his ace. Now, 
My matches are always sold out, but this? I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, John. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zombazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, John. Let's make sure this is the final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No. A match that'll change Galar forever. We're gonna ha have an absolutely champion time. <sighs> We've been challenged by Leon. And his lead is a... <laughs> he is hitting hard off of the get. One of my duties as a champion is to get the crowd all fired up. Yeah, leading off of the Giratina definitely does help that a lot. Um, okay. I gotta go with this. I, I have to. I still don't even think this is gonna chunk Giratina down at all, though. Maybe I should have bought more four stores. Especially because I could have. Because this is a 3 KO. Uh, flinch. A super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. Flinch, 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 flinch. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh boy. Okay. I'm. R that was actually a tough move, though. So I gotta respect the fact that he actually threw out something tough to start. But my only concern is that this could be his ace in the hole, and him leading with it is a problem. Okay. We just need to get the flinch. We just need the flinch. We need the. F wow. We got unlucky. Okay. 66% chance failed twice. Although, wait, he grudged. So I think the grudge will last until this turn. I want to keep beat up. I'll, I'll earthquake it in hopes that the grudge goes away. Uh, no, he think he he knows he's almost dead. So he's gonna play it safe. Um, I've got a lot of fire coverage. Maybe I can get a burn or something with this. That'd be beautiful. We got a crit. Not helpful. A critical hit. <laughs> Pretty good challenger. We got a crit burn! That's even better. Honestly, the crit was good, at, or the burn was good enough. We didn't need a crit burn, but mm. that's either that it's either gonna force him into a full restore, a quick full restore, which is great. Oh my god, another crit! Okay. But my hope is we get the flinch. We got uh, we got. I mean, to be fair, we got unlucky with the flinches, so getting the crit burn kind of counteracts that. There we go. Now we're safe. We are safe to beat up again. Because that should that should proc the kill. I didn't even think about the full restores possible the possibility of full restores, to be honest. I just went under the assumption of, hey, it's fine, it's whatever. But then it's like, oh wait, yeah, full restores, they exist, don't they? And yeah, Burn's gonna go ahead and do the damage it needs. And they got the flinch on top of that by Garatina. <sighs> One down. Garatina was a tough starter, though, so I do appreciate it. What else do you got? Drapion. Hmm. I'm gonna go the safe route, and I'm gonna go Whaleabout. I think Whaleabout's the safest pick here.
Because Drapion's poison and dark. So beat up strategy would have done nothing. We could have earthquaked, but ooh, level 64 plus snow warning. Hmm. That snow warning thing I don't like. Whale about his nearly avoided his avoided near death twice. Okay, I definitely gotta swap. Because I'm sorry, but no. I'm not letting... I'm not letting Whale about die, okay? I'm just not about that life. Especially because full restore is very likely. No. Okay, he went for the Friends of Pan, but this time connected. Again, Machamp, if anything has to die, Machamp and Lunala. Those are the two that I'm okay with dying. I'm going to actually start. I'm going to try and get a... Uh... Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so hopefully it's something like a rock type or something. Because the snow or the hail should go away now. No, it's not. Dang. Chandelure. Can't even touch it. Mmm... Well, I can with the null one, so we'll just go to the null one. Level 60, yeah, the fact that Drapion missed a 90% accurate move, like, that is the second time Whaleabout has been just near saved. Happened last episode, and this is the second straight episode. So we definitely were getting kind of lucky with Nolan or uh, with uh, Whale about. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe and uh, just I don't want to waste all of our um, yeah. I didn't know. I knew I was faster, but I didn't want to like proc some priority move. I don't think Grudge is priority though. Anyway, Hail's gone. That's good. What else do you got? Volcarona. I'm gonna go with Katie. I'm gonna play it safe. Go to Katie. Um, I want an Ancient Power, but again, I just. Or Facetious Rend. I would rather do either or, but the game heavily targeting Whale about. I'm going to go into Katie. But uh, next game, there's three Volcaronas. Three forms of Volcarona we have to worry about. Magma Storm. Resisted, that's fine. Not a problem. <clears throat> yeah, there's three Volcaronas in the next game, which is absolutely insane. There's a fire bug, fire poison, and a fire and a bug fighting version of Volcarona. Which is so great. Luckily, though, it'll actually have names. That is one thing about um, Gen 9 that I know of, at least, is they have actual names, so I can know exactly what's coming up. Bro. Palkia now? Really, buddy? Dude, I'm not a fan of using Nolan the way I have to use Nolan in this champion fight, but my goodness. He's not holding back. Okay, it's level 62, so... Next one's Ace, right? So I should prepare for that. Yeah, I should. Okay. Because this is going to take a while. Adds a 4 at KO. Which we have enough for it, so I guess I can't really complain too much. I would love to see, like, a Swords Dance or something. That would be significant help. Okay, another failure of the 66%.
So this one's got to flinch, essentially. If we lose three, two and three shots, that'd be a one in 27 chance. My goodness. One in 27. Good job, Leon. Okay, we should foul play, though. The level 65 Dynamax Pokemon that we have as our final Pokemon to face is a... Hmm. That's a big boy. I'm going to go with Machamp over Katie for safety and security reasons. Because as much as Katie being plus or being so good in the department of doing damage and it being quad effective and being a fairy type, I also do do not want to lose Katie. I need Katie alive more than I need Daddy the Machamp alive. So if I go based off of that premise, just in case something wacky happens, I'm okay with Machamp dying. Because Machamp and Lunala are essentially dead once this happens. Not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. So yeah, so effectively, once Guzzlord is dead, Machamp and Lunala is dead as well, which means you can pick one of the remaining four. Um, because, unfortunately, Machamp and Lunala are not in Generation 9, so... Gonna go with Drain Punch first. It's gonna Dynamax, it's gonna have a bunch of HP. So, as, so long as it doesn't have Liquid Ooze, we're fine. But Guzzlord is a toughie. Because Wormwind will knock down the attack. But that's going to fully heal us for sure. Wormwind. Okay. Mm. I'm still in the clear to Drain Punch again. Because that still could fully heal us, potentially. Almost, yeah. I did 99 damage. And the other one did a little over 130. That's a pretty big range. That was probably max min roll. But we're fine. We would have had to deal with the same the same issue. Ah, it was core enforcer. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and use a max potion so that way we can be like, ha, we beat the game without the need for a full restore. We might as well. Okay, Court Enforcer does how much to us? Yeah, we're okay.
just in case we get like aftermath or something. Because aftermath would just be funny at that point. Nope, it's gone. Well, so buy Machamp and buy Lunala, as they cannot advance. And Leon is no longer the champion. My time as champion is over. But what a champion time it has been. Thank you for the greatest battle I have ever had. Congratulations. You have beat the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You have become the first rate trainer, all right. I offer you a heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking at my head myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that is to come. And you, John. We ought to do it. Do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon in order to create a bright future with all we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it. A new legend is born right before your eyes. Your champion, John. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future this a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do in the Payanola region. Yeah, folks. We're going to be entering a region that I don't even freaking know. In a randomized format. And you guys get to choose one of the four remaining Pokemon to die. And honestly, I really should have just made another layout to, like, display that. But, yep, no more Lunala, no more Machamp. They're both gone, but the other four are eligible. So, go ahead and choose one that you guys want to die. The rest will advance, of course, per the usual, the typings and everything will stay the same the move sets will stay the same as long as the game allows um otherwise i'll find something comparable and then yeah i mean here's the thing about this right we're moving on to our final generation and to say that out loud it feels wrong it feels weird it feels crazy this would have been the end if it wasn't for this new generation coming out in October or November, excuse me. If I had completed this before November, this would have been the end of the series, which is just crazy that we're that close. Um, it's crazy how far we have gotten and like, this generation didn't seem to pose that much of a threat throughout most of it, right? And that's, like, fine, and that's okay. But what, I mean, we, we lost, the, the, most of the, the only Pokemon we lost were either grass or poison, um, which is hilarious. But, I mean, because you guys, even you guys killed only grass and poison, so that's, or no, uh, Reggie Ice. You guys killed Reggie Ice, but still... Um, it was like, this generation had its ups and it had its downs, right? Because the biggest thing, of course, was the loss of Ye. Once we lost Ye, it was frustrating and it was sad and it was rough. But we were able to hold a core together for most of it. And even when we had drop-offs and failures with our grass core, our weird wonky grass core... 
we still had mons like Whale about Daddy the Machamp. We had a Katie girl. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, Daddy's gone, but it's fine. Um, we had the return of Satan for a couple episodes in Ye's Wake. Um, Nolan with a Wonder Guard flinching and like the most wonky move sets. L- Limbero, like on Katie Girl, where she could be whatever type I needed her to be at that current moment. Even though she was slow, and that's her biggest weakness is that she's slow, but. And then Whale About just being the meme that she was. I mean, let's be. Like, Whale About probably um, would be my favorite. I hate to say that because Katie Girl's right there, but Whale About's probably my favorite of. Generation 8. Ye does not count as Generation 8. Ye was Generation 7. If Ye had to be an option on the table, obviously we know the answer. But, because Ye, I loved Ye, and she was amazing. But in Generation 8, my favorite Generation 8 mod, I think, was Whale About. And the fact that he avoided death twice just to be here shows that he wants to be committed to this team. So, I'm excited to see you guys, who you guys kind of choose. But, I mean, I mean, she avoided death twice. I love the the Woolies. We didn't get a Wooly. Um, and I don't think Wooly's in Generation 8, which is a kind of a big sad. I really hope that Wooly's in Generation 9. Excuse me. Ooh, Generation 9. That's weird to say. I really hope Wooly's in Gen 9, but I don't think that Wooly is. But, yeah. Again, this was a crazy time. And we're on to the final generation. So get your friends, get everybody involved, because this is going to be one wild thing. Also, can I, like, screen cap that for the uh, thing, please? That That's the thumbnail, by the way. If you guys didn't know that that was going to be the thumbnail. Um, obviously, the one that has Whalebot in it. Whalebot's not getting covered by that sword logo. No, no, no. But, yeah. <laughs> wow. Crazy. I can't believe it, but yeah, on to the final one. And I don't know how Generation 9 works, so I can't tell you, oh, there's going to be a Choose My Starter on Friday. Uh, but more than likely, that's what's going to happen. Wow. Catch you later.